my review of this 2020 Ram 1500 with the latest generation Eco Diesel V6 engine is coming your way next, but make sure to subscribe to the Autoguide.com YouTube channel for lots more videos just like this one. Diesel power is back at Ram. For 2020, the truck maker is offering a compression ignition V6 in its latest generation half-ton model. Now, this engine promises greater efficiency, capability, and performance than before. In short, it should make the already excellent Ram 1500 even better. But before hitting the road, let's take a look at this brand new third generation Eco Diesel engine because honestly, that's the real news here. Now, a multitude of changes have been made for 2020, even though some of the fundamentals do remain the same. If you remember, this is a 3-liter V6. Chain-driven dual overhead camshafts operate four valves per cylinder via friction-reducing roller finger followers. The block is cast of compacted graphite iron for incredible strength and reduced NVH, that's noise, vibration, and harshness. Within this foundation spins a forged crankshaft to which are attached forged connecting rods. Filling its half a dozen holes are completely redesigned pistons. Now, they're fitted with thinner rings to reduce friction, plus the pin has actually been offset about three-tenths of a millimeter from centerline to further cut noise. Forcing air into this Bent 6 is a new water-cooled variable geometry turbine turbocharger that should improve both efficiency and responsiveness. Redesigned intake ports promote more swirl in the combustion chambers and they flow more air to boot. As for the compression ratio, it's been increased from 16 to 1 up to 16 and a half to 1. The fuel delivery system, it operates at 2,000 bar of pressure, that's 29,000 PSI. But what is the result of all these changes? Well, the Eco Diesel now gives you the most torque in the half ton diesel pickup segment up to 480 pound feet. That's a 14% increase compared to the previous generation engine. As for horsepower, it clocks in at 260, an 8% increase, though it is just a little bit less than what you can get in that brand new diesel Silverado. Now, that new Silverado may have a slight edge in overall pony power, but this Ram, it's no slouch either. Now, like a lot of diesel-powered vehicles, it needs a second or two to sort of get on the boil. You've got to have at least 2,500 revs on the clock before it really starts pulling, but after that point, up to a little bit more than four grand, it will slingshot you right down the road. This Eco Diesel offers a best-in-class tow rating of up to 12,560 pounds. As for payload, that tops out at a claim 2,040. Now, Ram folks did have a couple trailers on hand for us to experience the towing in, and the larger of the two weighed a little bit more than 5,100 pounds, a far cry from the max rating, but it still gave me a pretty good idea of how this truck would handle with weight behind it. And I've gotta say, it was pretty much a no-drama affair. It accelerated uphill with relative ease, and thanks to the optional air suspension that you can, of course, get in a Ram 1500, it did not feel at all like the trailer was moving the truck around. It was totally stable and totally planted. Performance-wise, this Ram is very comparable to either a Power Stroke-equipped Ford F-150 or that Silverado with the new Duramax Straight 6. Refinement is also very similar to its two primary rivals. This engine is incredibly smooth and quiet. Gone are the days of diesels belching black smoke and clattering as you drive along. I mean, most drivers probably won't even know this thing runs on diesel. Now, a tiny bit of vibration can be felt in the floor at times, but this is a very minor complaint. It's an academic observation at best. I think the Silverado Straight 6 might be just a little bit smoother, but really, this thing is incredibly refined and it's not gonna cause any problems. 
Now, no official fuel economy figures have been released for this truck just yet. They'll be made public closer to its on-sale date in the fourth quarter of the year. But if you remember, Chevy's Silverado Duramax just came out, blew the doors off with a 33 MPG highway rating, which is damn impressive. And that's gonna be a hard figure for Ram to beat. Now, it remains to be seen if they can topple that. I don't know that they can, but we shall see. Ram spokes folks do tell me that this truck will be more efficient than its predecessor, but again, 33 highway, it's a big number. Now that Eco Diesel is joining the powertrain lineup, you have got a range of great engines to choose from in the Ram 1500. You can get a base Pentastar V6 with e-torque. You can get a Hemi V8. You can get a Hemi with e-torque. And now, if you want a compression ignition oil burner, well, that's an option as well. For me, I love the Hemi best just because, I mean, how can you argue with that throaty V8 rumble? But I really think you're going to enjoy the Eco Diesel, provided the upcharge doesn't scare you away. So how much does this engine cost? Well, it ain't cheap, but neither is it a total budget buster. You see, it's a $4,995 option, or it's $3,000 more than a 5.7 liter Hemi with e-torque. What does that mean in actual numbers? Well, the most affordable version of this new Ram that you can get with an Eco Diesel under the hood is going to be a tradesman quad cab two-wheel drive model, and they're going to set you back $38,585, including $1,695 in delivery fees. For 2020, this engine is going to be offered across the range, including in the off-road focused Rebel model, which is a first and something that I think is going to make a lot of people very happy. And you can look for Eco Diesel powered Ram 1500s at dealerships early in the fourth quarter of the year. And before you go, don't forget to subscribe to the Autoguide.com YouTube channel to get all of our latest features and vehicle reviews.